when you see a fair inspector hop on the on the streetcar, what goes through your mind? Uh, I guess nervous, panic. They're the keepers of the fare box, keeping us honest as we hop on the bus, subway, and streetcar. Today, we have the opportunity to ride along with two TTC fare inspectors who, in the last three years alone, along with their colleagues, have handed out nearly 18,000 tickets. What's the worst greeting you've received from someone who uh, has shortchanged the TTC? They'll meet me with uh, the uh, choice words and just walk by. It only took us four stops on the Spadina streetcar line today to find our first fare evader. The issue is, is when you boarded the streetcar, you just you, you got on and you didn't make any attempt to pay. I mean, you did have a Presto card, which you didn't tap. Okay, can we can we get off? Okay, okay, we're gonna get off here, sir. Just follow me up. What I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be issuing a provincial offense notice. Okay. Any questions? No need to apologize, it's not personal. I have to admit, I feel like a little bit of a jerk sticking a camera in people's faces as they get busted for not paying their 325, though you could argue that they're not just shortchanging the TTC, they're shortchanging and stiffing everyone who rides Toronto Public Transit. We see about $20 million worth of lost revenue because of fare evasion. $20 million is a lot of money. Where could that money go? That's more vehicles, that's more operators, that's better service on our on our system. The fine for, for fare evasion was $235 up to $425. That doesn't come back to the TTC. So, uh, it's a know, provincial offense. Right, so these are provincial offenses in, in a similar way that a speeding ticket would be. The cash raised for the tickets actually goes directly to the city with a surcharge going to the province. The TTC does not receive any direct revenue from the fare evasion fines, even though the salaries for the inspectors comes out of the TTC budget. Transit expert Murtaza Hyder argues that increasing fines or increasing the number of inspectors might not even make a dent in the 20 million the TTC believes they're losing annually. You have 60 people monitoring fare evasion for a $20 million estimated loss. If that number goes down to 30 inspectors, do you expect an increase in fare evasion or that that number is probably a stable number regardless of the number of inspectors? Based on the studies I've seen, I would say hiring more would probably not result in lower lower um, uh, fare evasion. Though during our ride along this morning, the inspectors only issued one ticket while using their discretion to let a couple others off the hook. Is the hope that they're getting the message after seeing you guys around day in, day out? I think that's our goal, is that when they see us, they will pay their fare. As the Transit Commission gets set to roll out new streetcars just like this one, which run completely on an honor system, they say they have no plans to hire more fare inspectors, though it's something they say they could look into. On board the Spadina Streetcar, I'm Adrian Gobriel, City News.